Don't get any closer, if you touch me, you'll get sucked into the electricity with me. Hehe, <laughs> fools, you better listen to your friend here, there's nothing you can do. Goretto no, no, no. Dase, we managed to survive and save Keicho. He has the arrow. Hello. Why would I? I don't know who you are, but I will find you. And I will kill you. I've called a stand user from overseas to help us out. He is an old man, but he's the one person who can find red hot chili pepper. He will be arriving in the port at noon. Wait, an old man who's a stand user, and a foreigner? Isn't that? FATHER! Hey hey. On the port at noon, you say? Impossible. How could he have gotten to this field? There's no electricity. Shit. The motorcycle's battery. He hid in it and followed us here. Oh, poop. Um, we forgot to interrogate him about the arrow. Oh, I know. We can wait for the news of an absolutely ruined and bloody dead body to circulate in the news, then check that person's house. Huh. It worked. Come on, Shigechi, we worked together for that 5 million yen coupon, you can't just take it for yourself. You'll never save me life. Get away from me, you creepy man. La tuya por si acaso. Ah, uh, Dead noises. Are you okay, sir? I'm just a regular office worker that got caught up in the explosion. Please, heal me. Heal you? No matter how you look at it, I'm just an average high schooler. Why would anyone assume I'm some kind of medical professional? You saw my stand, didn't you? Hmm hmm hmm. It seems you've absolutely bamboozled me. Yes, I am the killer you've all been following. But I will warn you. Yo, could you chill with that? I'm supposed to be the main character. Welcome aboard. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say. Congratulations. You've recently been hired in Passione, and this is your first official day of training. Can I defeat the boss now? Oh no, you've got a lot to learn before you're ready to take any dangerous jobs. As you can see by this graph, you have been employed in one of the most successful organizations in Italy, but it didn't get that way overnight. No, the story of Passione is the story of one man's hard work, perseverance, vision, determination, and sweat. Probably, nobody actually knows who he is, but we are here because of him, so he must be a good man. I wanna kill him. Haha, <laughs> sure, sure. Passione today. We make it a point to protect our members by having them work normal jobs in order to blend in with the rest of society. Good morning little girl, would you like to buy an ice cream on this fine hot day? Yeah, let me get up. Training. Does this mean I get to defeat the boss now? No. You can't defeat the boss without understanding our carefully organized Italian code, Sugma. Sugma. Sugma bo personal hygiene. Every member of Passione must comply with a strict set of personal hygiene guidelines. We wouldn't want anyone to have the smell of drugs following them around after a long day of trafficking am I right? Say that again I f***ing dare you. Whoa there, 
Let's finish this, before you get too hasty, we have a few more topics to cover, your team. It's important to build a healthy connection to all of your squad members, in order to more effectively work together, try striking up a conversation with one of your new comrades. Hi. Fuck you. Great job. Now that you're fully integrated into Bruno Bucciarati's team, perhaps you think you're ready to begin working. Calm down. There's plenty of time left. We have to make sure you're ready for the psychological aspect of the job. Dealing with traitors. When one of our members tries to find out the boss's identity, that person is considered a traitor, and it's your job to personally deal with them. I'm fully comfortable with killing my enemies with no remorse. Well put Mr. Jovanap, that's the spirit we need. Especially if it's the boss. I know this sounds like a lot too. Sounds like a lot too. Sounds like a... Sounds like a lot to learn just to become a simple low-life criminal, right? Ahahaha <laughs> wrong. Now that you've learned the basics of your training, it's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Dap. Dap. Da da da. Dap. 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 Dap, 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 tap, dap, tita, ti, re, tita, ti, re, ta. Your very own stand ability. At the center of every great dynasty is the crown jewel, which keeps it alive and thriving. For Passione, this is a stand arrow. And now, the humble employee of the industry. The all too necessary human resource that keeps this business afloat will learn the sacred and dark secrets of our mafia. The ultimate test for all our new members, where you die, if you are unworthy, or gain the ultimate power. I already had a stand. You never asked. Oh. The hem. Allow me to introduce our new member, his name is Giorno Giovanna. Hello. Hey. I'm going to go take a phone call. Make sure to properly greet Giorno, okay? Nice to meet you, everyone. I hope we can get along well. Goff. T. You're a stand user, aren't you? Maybe. Yes. Can you tell us what your abilities are? Can you? No. Crazy how that works. This guy's getting on my fucking nerves. So, are you guys getting along well? Yeah, he was about to tell us what his stand ability is. Oh, that's great. That'll help build trust between us. Hum, he's right. I want you guys to trust me. My stand, gold experience, can turn objects into any living being, be plants or animals. Whoa, whoa, so you can make some kind of dinosaur that can absolutely maul your opponent. And that's a frog. If you attack it, all the damage gets inflicted on you. Okay, that's broken. That's pretty good, but I would call it broken. Futus stand is way stronger. Wait, we shouldn't reveal our abilities just yet. You can let out a virus that kills opponents within 30 seconds, feeling outclassed yet. Wow, that sounds really useful. You must be really valuable to this team. This bitch. We know that guy has an ally waiting for him in Capri, so I suggest someone get there before the yacht and take him by surprise. And they volunteer. I'll go with you. My stand is made for killing. Alright. Wait, wasn't that my line? Fugo, you go hide next to the radio room and prepare to attack. I'll make the call. When I give you the signal, it means someone is going into the room. Got it. I'm here. What's the situation? The signal. Huh. Nobody is approaching the room. I know. I'll fill it with my virus, and whoever enters next dies. Huh. Still nobody. Maybe Giorno was mistaken? Great job, Fugo. What? Out. Oh, fuck. You got all that? Yeah. You can count on me. It's just shopping. 
No big deal. Repeat every instruction I just gave you. You're hopeless. I'm sorry. Hey. Ha <laughs> ha. I expected to scare them, but not that fast. They didn't even ask how I got here or who I am. Hey, what's that smoke? Oh, we're not that far from where our other car is. You can walk. Lucky. Hey. Did you grab the list? What? Yeah, we need a. Say, what's this smoke? Handkerchiefs, side high stockings, Givenchy blush number two, the latest issue of Italian Vogue, and some mineral water from France. Hmm, let me see that. Yes, I think we can get this magazine in that store over there, before we even get into the other car. Oh, you're right. Good eye. Fight, what do I do? Why does shrinking make me rock faster? They end the lives of several more human beings. And then they get a turtle who's also a house. I will be the one to take Trish to the top. Before you go, take this very normal ladybug brooch that has no function whatsoever other than being a good luck charm. Thanks. Actually, Fugo, can I take one of your virus capsules with me? Huh? You're not planning to attack the boss, are you? No, it's not that it's just a... In case of an emergency, you know? Your ability has been extremely useful for quick kills so if something were to happen I could break it then run away. Are you implying there's a chance that the boss will attack us? Just give me the capsule. She disappeared, didn't she? What is that? One of Fugo's virus capsules. It will spread and kill you in 30 seconds as soon as you're infected and he's gone. Looks like he didn't risk getting close to the virus. We got lucky. Isn't that right, Trish? Trish? Yeah, he totally just wanted to kill Trish to get rid of any leads to his identity. If it wasn't for Fugo's capsule I would be a walking corpse right now. Thank you. But you saw him in there, right? You must know his identity now. Anyway, I'm betraying him. I'm doing this because I believe that I am right. I'm not asking any of you to come. So it's your decision to join me and betray the organization. How are you already on the boat? You just confirmed that my ability works on the boss. So if you want to defeat him, I have to help, right? We might actually have a chance. And I owe you my life anyway, so I'm coming with you. If Fugo's coming, I'm coming. I've secretly been a traitor the whole time, so... I f***ing knew it. When did any of you walk over there? This is the halfway point in the series where the intro changes. Therefore, I will play just enough of Traitor's Requiem so that it won't get copyrighted. What happened? His heart. It's gone. Clear. Naranja, can you talk? What attacked you? Había un tiburón en mi sopa. Ah. This is no time to play around. Just answer the question. No estoy jugando. Esto tiene que ser otro ataque. Todo lo que digo sale en otro idioma. Wait, that's not what my ability does. Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. He's not kidding. He's being attacked. You understand him? No, but Narancha isn't smart enough to know more than one language. It means he's either being attacked in his mouth or directly in his brain. His tongue got cut off earlier, so that must be where the enemy stance ability is taking effect. I say we infect him. Eh. Wouldn't that spread out and kill him? We can just cut it off again before the virus spread. If the stand can fit in the mouth, it'll probably die quick. No, no, espera fugo mierda. Don't worry, dude. Giorno can just make you a new one again. Great. Keep your mouth open wide like that. I gotta get out of here! Great bluff, Fugo. You successfully made the enemy show itself. And Narancha went along with it perfectly. Bluff. Movie loser.
Cruise has finished recreating the pilot, you can get it now. Anatomy I'll go check his life force. Who cares? Let's just leave. If he's alive, he can't exactly follow us anyway. All right, I got them. Great work. I'll go with Narancha to confirm the enemy's dead body. Abakio, start looking for who took that picture of Trish's mother here 15 years ago. How long do you think it'll take? We're talking 15 years in the past, so I'd say 10 to 15 minutes. Do it in 4, 8, 5, take it or leave it. I'll try. Fugo, you guard him. Looks like those kids over there can't reach their football in that branch. Maybe I should help them. Thanks, mister. Okay, sure. Steal my good deed. Whoa, that was quick. It's been six minutes. I've been waiting for this moment for years, for someone to look for the boss's identity. Block him. Wait, I'm on your side, I can help you. Block him. His ability is to skip time. Go on. Meet me in the Roman Colosseum and I'll give you something that can defeat him. Are you fucking kidding me? You put the boss face on a face recognition database, we were detected for doing so, and a person who knows his ability popped up, tried to gain your trust and invited you to meet up. Okay, I can see how this might be a trap. Of course it's a trap, you were gonna get us killed. Ah, thanks. Anyway, I have an idea. If we pretend to fall for it and go to the Colosseum, there's a chance that the boss himself will be there, waiting to ambush us. We use this chance to take him out. There's an enemy. I just saw two drunk guys grow mold and I want... My stand won't really help here so I'll retreat to the turtle for now to not get in the way. Good luck, guys. Where are you? I got it. It's attacking things when they move to a lower location. Then we'll be fine if we follow them by going up those stairs, right? Yes, but we should prioritize getting a car right now. We crashed. Shit, they're throwing mo from too high up. My bullets won't reach. Ahead. Oh, right. Naranja, your stand has a bomb compartment, right? Put one of my capsules in it and drop it in that helicopter. Just using my bomb would be enough, don't. Yes, but that did stole my rotting people away, shtick. Fair enough. I'll blow it up anyway. One enemy left. Where is he anyway? Did we lose the guy swimming in the ground when we drove here? I mean, with his ability the most he can do is grab two of our legs, leaving the rest of us free to attack. Then I guess we just wait for him to show himself. I didn't think the human body could distort in that way. It's a good thing Trish was still in the turtle. Yeah, if I wasn't so used to extreme violence, I'd be traumatized right now. So the arrow chooses who's worthy by itself? I find that hard to believe. I heard everything. Who mans is this? It's him. That arrow can grant its user the power to control the world, and you're planning to use it against me. But that won't happen if I get it first. What? They left him alone with me with the arrow and almost poisoned him. Aren't they working together? Shoo, shoo you fucking birds. Counter. Nani the father. You have 30 seconds to live. If you skip time you'll waste them. But if you kill me, my stance effects might go away. You, you genuinely angered me. Oh shit. What? Yes. You've done it. 
The boss has finally been defeated. Cut the innocent act. We knew you were lowering us here from the beginning. What? But you didn't account for the possibility of us being ready for it. Wait, no, that's not. All right, let's kick his ass. Hey, 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 chill, chill. We apologize for beating the shit out of you. It's fine. Gold experience's replacement body parts have me feeling healthier than ever. That's good to hear. Anyways, have you decided if you'll join Passioni yet? Yes, I will join if you let me use the organization's funds for a personal project. What kind of personal project? Welcome to Palneraf Land. We'll be the first people to experience it before we open to the public. We have the entire park to ourselves. No lines, everything is free, and there'll be fireworks at night to commemorate. Hey, who are those guys? I was getting to that. These are my old friends Joseph Jostar and Jotaro Kujo. I let them invite their friends so we could have more people. Where is that? A peephole. Don't mind him, he's been going senile. Hi, I'm Joe's K and this is Okuyasu. I'm Yukako. I'm Koichi. Also hi Jorno. Sup. Wait what? Jorno Giovanna is here? You know him too? He's Dio's son. Really? Huh. Wait, do you know my real dad? Yeah, I killed him anyway, where can I find the aquarium? Now you kids have fun here, alright. What? Nah, I wanna go to the roller coaster, not this kiddie ride. I think he mistook us for children because we're short. You or we have the same voice. I think we can wait until later to go on the roller coaster with everyone, for now. Koichi-kun, wanna get on one horse together? Oh, sure, ha ha. Hey. Why not? This is sick as fuck. Hey so, how do we end up in the couple's ride? You two should go in this ride. I promise it'll be fun. I didn't even notice what the ride was at that moment. Yeah, same. So... What? Do you... Actually hate me? Man, this haunted house isn't scary at all. Yeah, same for me, but maybe it's because I've been through life and death fights before, I'm used to real danger. <laughs> what, 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 what? Okuyasu, what did you just do? You know that's not what I meant. We just... Just... Killed an innocent employee. And that's how I trolled some demigods to death and saved the world. Wow, you got out alive after all of those battles. That's only half of them. Seriously, tell me more. Sell you for? But I'm not selling anything. No, tell me about the rest of your fights. Why do you want to know if I got rest last night? No. Um. This was the maximum speed. Lame. I think it's just fine. I can make it faster if that's what you want. Really? really? Yeah. Echoes, hack too. And that's how me. My grandson, and your buddy Polnruf saved the world by killing your other friend's dad. Incredible, I feel like I'm talking to a legend. Did you say you feel threatened? Don't worry I'm on your side. Your next line is I said legend not threatened. I said legend not threat. What? What? Why are you asking me that all of a sudden? Well, I've done my best to befriend everyone in the gang but only we seem to not get along even though I've been trying to. I feel like I treat all of you the same. Did I do something to you? I... I don't hate you. Oh? When we first met, you got on my nerves as a cocky kid who didn't take this game business as seriously as he should, and I tried to immediately get you to know your place by pranking you with a cup of my piss, but you showed me up using your stand and got everyone's approval. Wait that was piss. After that, seeing you get along great with Fudo and the others made me... 
Jealous? Off. Anyways, eventually you did gain my respect, but it felt too late to just suddenly change how I treated you. I didn't want to admit that I liked you so I just kept antagonizing you. I'm not good at this kind of thing. Okay, this is my way of being friendly to you specifically. Wow. This whole time I thought you really disliked me to the point we would never get along. So, does this mean we are friends? Y yes I know that's what it meant, I just wanted to hear you say it. I will end you. And that's where babies come from in the vast ocean world. That was actually way more interesting than I expected it to be. You could have asked to use the pool. Are you sure you can't heal them? Like I said, Okuyasu's stand doesn't break things, it's erasure. I can't fix something the hand erased. This person is gone forever. Fuck, we need to hide the body. What? No. We need to tell Polnareff and explain that it was an accident. How do you propose we go about that? Hey Polnareff, I killed one of your employees. Hell stab you. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just find the place. Up, I know. You can fix stuff, so let's break the floor and put him under there. Yes! Good one. Ha ha, we did it. Let's get out of here and pretend nothing ever happened. Actually, do you think the smell of the body will eventually rise? Fuck. Good thinking, Okuyasu. Now there's not an atom left of the body, they won't be considered dead now, only missing. Mister. Huh? Someone saw what happened? Wait. This is my stand, don't worry, they won't tattle. We will if you don't take us to the burger place. Yeah, let's go take a break and eat. If we're relaxed we won't be nervous and suspicious. Now that we're all together again, I want you all to give your thoughts on the rides you went on. The aquarium was fucking am- I was there. I'm not talking to you. Narancia, your group crashed into the aquarium on horses. What happened? Up, uh, uh, we might have a- completely broken the carousel. Ahem, so, what about you, Giorno? You were with Avakia, right? Yeah, you won't believe what? We tested the couple's ride. It was well made. I'm sure people will love it. That is all. Wait, the what ride? Great. Misa, you three came back together. I think I saw you leave the haunted house, right? Well, uh, we, we went to the haunted house. Yes. How was it? It was. It's pretty fun. Haha. <laughs> What's wrong? You guys seem nervous. Uh -huh, uh -huh. These guys got so scared in there that they're still shivering even now. You should have seen them, it was hilarious. Oh, yeah, yeah, those scares were really good. Oh that's wonderful. I thought using animatronics with fake blood wouldn't be as scary as actors who can scream and follow you. But I guess it works just fine. I didn't go in any attractions. I just hung out with Mr. Joestar in the outdoor restaurant. But if you need to hear about that too, the tea and cake were great quality. Yes, this nice lady was very nice. Good. Well, it looks like we're set for a real opening soon, Josuke. I'll ask you to fix the horse ride later after I interrogate these four. Sure. All that's left now is riding the roller coaster and having the firework ceremony. Why are we going this fast? Sorry, I might have messed with the settings to make it more exciting. We'll go flying again at this rate. We need to slow down. I know, I'll use my virus to- Relax. I was kidding, someone just slowed down. We got this, mister, shoot. Mister, we broke it. You could have just gone down and flipped the switch for yourself. Shit. What are we gonna do now without the controls? I'm too young to die. Would you stop that weight? Yes! Okuyasu, erase the engine. You won't be able to fix it if he does that. Damn it. Alright, I'll do it then. <laughs> I fucking told you he could do that. We stopped, but how will it get down? 
Mr. Joestar, what do you think we should do? I think he fainted. What? Okay, I'm sorry. I guess we'll have to leave the dinosaur and manually get down. Oh, I know how to get us all down. Great job. You've saved us all. You did great, Yukako. Can someone help me out here? Well, I can say that this theme park is a success. It was. Now, it's time for the fireworks. I'll use my stand to light them all at once for a single big explosion. And I'll use my virus to add some color. It's a joke. Don't even acknowledge it. By the way, I never died in this timeline. Mario Bros.